Why don't we look at inscribed angles? Should we? Should we? I think we should. Now, what is an inscribed angle? I'm glad you asked. An inscribed angle has its vertex on a circle and that its sides are chords of the circle. And so here we see a circle and we've got a couple actually of inscribed angles. I might first look at right here, this angle C, D, F. Well, I've got a vertex of D on the circle and the sides of angle D I see are chords of the circle. CD and FD, they're both chords. And so that's one of the inscribed angles. And then I see a second inscribed angle at least. Well, I see more than that actually. But another one is here at angle C. Angle C is an inscribed angle with its sides being CD and CE or DC and EC are its sides and they're both chords of the circle. Now we've got a theorem here, the inscribed angle theorem. And the inscribed angle theorem says that if we've got an inscribed angle, the measure of that angle is one half of the measure of its chord. And then there's the flip side of that. If we know the measure of a chord, well, the angle is twice that measure. Let's see, let's go over that again. If we've got an inscribed angle, the measure of that angle is one half of the chord that's created from that inscribed angle. And if we know the measure of the chord, well, it's twice as large as the angle. All right, so let's see what we got. We're asked to find the measure of chord CF. Well, let's see, CF. CF, that, and that chord then is right here. All right, and that means our inscribed angle is CDF, which is right here. And that chord is twice the measure of the inscribed angle. So if the inscribed angle is 40, the measure of that chord then would be 80. All right, now we're going to flip this around and we're going to look at the, what's the measure of angle C. Well, let's see, angle C here is D, C, F. And I see that this chord, D, E, uh, this arc, excuse me, not chord, this arc, D, E, is 98 degrees. It's formed by chord D, C, and E, C. And it's 98 degrees. So what's the, what is the measure of angle C? Well, the measure of angle C is one half the chord DE and chord DE is 98 and one half of 98 or the measure of angle C, let's see, two into nine goes four times, one left over, four into, I mean, excuse me, two into 18 is nine. And so this angle C then is 49 degrees using the inscribed angle theorem.